area of triangles and trapezoids, we're at 10.1c, which means we have two previous videos for chapter 10 that are linked in the description in the geometry playlist. So 10.1c means we had an A and a B, and you might become lost or confused if you didn't see them. To understand the formula for the area of a triangle or trapezoid, two congruent triangles form a parallelogram. And two congruent trapezoids also form a parallelogram. So the area of a triangle or trapezoid is half the area of the related parallelogram. If we've got a triangle, and our height can be going across this way, perpendicular to B, couldn't it? It also could be going this way, so it's perpendicular to B. And we have a base 1 and base 2. Here's our height if it's on the outside. Here's our height if it's on the inside here, or if we use a perpendicular to base sub 1 here. But 2 of these is going to equal 1 of those, see? So we can use half of this area to find this area, or we could find this area and multiply it by 2 to find that area, couldn't we? And same with the trapezoid. We could take the area of this trapezoid and multiply it by 2 to find the area of that parallelogram. So for the area of a triangle with base B and height H, our formula is A for area equals half base times height. We can also say area equals the quotient of the base times the height and 2. Either way, we'll get the same answer. For the area of a trapezoid with bases base sub 1 and base sub 2 and height H is area is equal to half times base sub 1 plus base sub 2 times the height. We could also say, because it's multiplied by a half, that we could add base sub 1 and base sub 2, multiply it by the height, and then divide it by 2. We'd get the same answer. The formulas for triangles and trapezoids are alike because they both, u both use half the product of the base and height to find the area. We can find the area of a trapezoid in which base sub 1 is 9 centimeters and base sub 2 is 12 centimeters, and it has a height of 3 centimeters. Using the formula for the trapezoid, the area is equal to half times base sub 1 plus base sub 2 times the height. So base sub 1 is a 9, base sub 2 is a 12. We're going to multiply it by 3. 9 plus 12 is 21 times 3 is a 63. We times that by a half, and we get 31.5 centimeters squared. And if we do it this way, if you don't like dealing with fractions, we do the 9 plus 12, which is 21, multiplied by the 3, which is 63, divided by 2. Same answer, 31.5 centimeters squared. Take a look at this diagram. We can find the area of this trapezoid by thinking of it as a rectangle and a triangle. It tells us that this side is 15 centimeters. Well, if we draw a line here, then we know that's 9 centimeters, which means that's 9 centimeters, which means the remaining part of this side must be 6 centimeters. We do the area of the triangle is half times 20, so we're going to use this as our height or base, and we can use this as our height or base either way, and we get half times 120, which is 60 centimeters squared. And now we just do the rectangle. We do 9 times 20, or 20 times 9, we get 180. When we add the two areas together, we get 240 centimeters squared. So we can split this into a triangle and a rectangle. We can also do it as two triangles. So finding the area of this using two triangles, we can put a line coming down this way, we also could have gone this way, but I used this way, which means now I have a leg of a triangle that's 9 centimeters, and for this triangle number 2, I've got a leg that's 20 centimeters and 15 centimeters. We can see that this is a 90 degree angle right here, 
it's a right angle. So we could just do 15 times 20 for triangle 2, and then multiply it by a half, and we get 150 centimeters squared. For triangle 1, we can do the 9 times the 20, because that would be the height of this triangle, okay? We'd have like an imaginary height line right here, and we could multiply it by a half, and 180 times a half would be 90. See? We add them together, and we get an area of 240 centimeters squared, same as if we split it into a rectangle and a triangle. We can find the base of a triangle in which the area is equal to x squared inches squared. So we're looking for this b, this base. Here's the formula for the area of a triangle. And if we know a is equal to x squared, we can put that in place for a. And it's going to equal half bx because we're given that the height is x. So we're going to use x instead of h. And we can divide both sides by x to eliminate it. And quotient rule for exponents says that we're going to subtract these exponents, and there's, that's really x to the first power, isn't it? So we would be left with an x. Now we can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction, of this half, to remove the fraction. We would get 2 over 2b, which is just b on the right side. And we'd have 2x on this side. We can use the symmetric property of equality to rewrite it as b equals 2x. Okay, just flip it around. We can find b sub 2 of a trapezoid in which the height is 24 inches, base sub 1 is 3 feet, and the area is given as 8 feet squared. So we substitute in our values. a is going to be an 8, and we've got a 24 inches that we need to convert it to feet so that they're all the same. This is in feet, that's in feet. That easily converts to 2 feet. So we're going to have a 2 here for our height. We have a 3 for base sub 1, so we have 8 equals half times 3 plus base sub 2 times 2. We multiply the half times the 2, and we just get a 1. So identity property, we have 3 plus b sub 2 for the right side. We can subtract 3 from both sides of the equal sign and get 5 is equal to base sub 2. So now, using the symmetric property of equality, we rewrite it as base sub 2 is equal to 5 feet. So now we know this is 5 feet. Now what if the problem asks you for the area of this triangle here? What if we had the exact same problem except there was a dotted line here and it wanted us to find this area? And it gave us that the area was 8 feet, just like in our previous example. It's 8 feet squared, and that b sub 1 is 3 feet. We know this is 2 feet. We don't know what b sub 2 is. It wants us to find this area. We do the exact same thing we did before. We find b sub 2. We find by substituting everything in and multiplying both sides by the height 2, we get 8 equals 3 plus base sub 2. We find out that base sub 2 is a 5. And if base sub 2 is a 5 and that's a 3, well, then that means this leg is 2 feet. So now we have a 2 foot leg and we have a 2 foot height. And we can do area equals half base height. We can say it's 2 times 2 times a half, which tells us the blue area is 2 feet squared. We could even go one step further, and if it wanted us to find only this area of the triangle, if this was split in half here, and it just wanted this area, we could divide that by 2. So in our last video, we learned about the area and perimeter of a parallelogram, that was 10.1b, and we learned that the area would be base times height, the perimeter would be 2 base plus 2 height. We could also factor out this 2 and just say the perimeter is equal to 2 times the base plus height. So now we know about the area of a triangle. We can use this formula or this formula. We'll get the same answer. And the area of a trapezoid, we can use this formula or this formula. Same thing. Multiplying by a half or dividing by 2 is the same thing, isn't it? 
So our next lesson is going to be about area and perimeter of rhombuses and kites. That's 10.1D. That's the final part of 10.1. So it was split into four parts the entire lesson. Then we're going to talk about developing pi in 10.2A and circumference and area of a circle and then the area of a regular polygon for 10.2. I hope you were able to take good notes, and I hope you now understand about the area of triangles and trapezoids, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.